Mr. Nate, you hiding from me over here? What's going on, man? They give you the, they give you the cavern job. What's, yeah. what's going on there? Yeah, man, they gave me the gravy. What's up with that? I'm putting in a uh, T5 five-speed, replacing an old four-speed factory transmission. In uh, what? What do we got? 65 here? convertible Mustang. Nice. GT. GT, yeah. I don't know if it's a real GT, but. It's says GT on it. It's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> you never know these old cars unless yeah, they have the right. paperwork. And what's that? Besides your besides your camera blocking technology. T5 uh, bell housing. Uh, and what's the, why would you put a new transmission? What's the reason? Uh, just owner preference. That's yeah. It. Is yep. it gonna make it quicker, shift better? Uh, he'll, have, he'll have one extra gear for yeah. highway use. Mm -hmm. He can cruise down 75 without, without running high RPM. Mm -hmm. Mr. George, what are How you are up you to? Today? I'm good. How are you? All right, buddy. Is this that boat hood? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. That's a big hood. Eh? It is a big There's hood. A lot of metal there. My lord, you need a wheelie chair to get around that thing. <laughs> what you doing here? Oh, just blocking out a few dents. Doing a little body work here. A couple of dings. Mm -hmm. Nothing major. I see you've got the whole thing in primer. Yeah, the body's pretty much ready to paint now. Uh, oh yeah, you've been over the whole thing already? Oh yeah. Wow, you're fast. <laughs> gotta take it apart now, gotta pull the fenders off and the doors. And to paint it? So we asked, we can paint all the inside edges and everything. We left it together to make sure it was nice and straight and you know, all the panel fitment was good. Now we'll take her apart. Our boy Bones will put some color to her. Nice. Mr. Rick. Yes. How are you today? I'm uh, doing good, man. Yeah. What are you up to? Did you get some goodies in the mail? Finally What'd got some uh, parts in the mail, and mm -hmm. uh, we're just putting on what I can put on at this point. Um, so what's that? This is just a seal that goes between the disc brake shield and the spindle. Keep any kind of grease and stuff from getting in there. And that's a jounce bumper that goes up in the front. So you're trying to put the brakes on this thing? Is that the idea? Yeah. Today? Well, the whole front suspension. Put all this mm -hmm. on yesterday. The yeah. Drill all uh, arms and stuff. So this is all uh, brand new stuff. Yeah, it's all new. Yeah, the gentleman wanted everything uh, replaced with new parts. Trying to simulate a stock vehicle, you know, something that's got all the parts like it was when it was delivered. Mm -hmm. That's what his goal is, anyway. So in doing so, do you buy stuff that is? Original or do you upgrade it to more modern well, technology? Or is that not problem even possible? anymore is just Ford and Chevrolet and, and Chrysler don't produce a lot of this stuff anymore. Um, so you have to get it aftermarket. Now some of it is authorized through Ford or through the manufacturer. So it's about as close to original as you're gonna be able to get your hands on. Mr. Scott Got the guitar? Is that the guitar thing? Yeah. <laughs> this this I'm actually doing a spray out for a customer with a Corvette because he's not really sure what color he wants. So I've made two more two others of these and we're gonna do one more. And it's all around the color ranges that he's been talking about and asking about. And so I'm gonna let him choose from these three colors instead of the three million colors that are available. Uh. This way hopefully it'll be a little easier for him to make a choice. That's the plan anyway. That's the plan. We'll see. So so the young whippersnapper, he knew? He taught me a lesson. What's I never I didn't that? know. It. A 1929 stove bolt, overhead valve, straight six. Yeah? Yeah. Is that exciting? Yeah, this one though. This, what year was the first overhead valve for Chevy? What? What year was the first overhead valve? 47 or 48, 6 cylinder. Yeah? That's what I said too. Look, yeah. look here. Right? No. Is that one of the conversions? Or is that no. no. That's Chevy's first overhead valve stove bowl was 1929. It's in that Confederate. Is it in the Confederate? Yeah. I, well, I thought somebody changed the engine. He said, no, that's correct. I said, no, it had to be a flathead. He was right. Just taking them to school. 